Hi everyone. In this series of videos we are looking at how to use the Fusion Builder elements. Today we're looking at how to use the Image Carousel element. Let's begin. The Image Carousel element allows you to add multiple images into a carousel, with loads of different viewing options. Let's take a look. I'm on the photography demo here, and I'm going to add an Image Carousel to this About page. I've added a container with a full width column, and I've set the interior content to 100% width in the container options. So now I'm ready to add my image carousel element. I'll just start with the general tab, as I can use this first option to bulk upload the images I want to display on the carousel. I'll just click on select images here, and shift click to select this range of images in the media library. Okay, so the images are loaded, and we can now start to customize the carousel. I'll start by changing this second option here, Picture Size. If I set it to Auto, the image size will adjust better to the space I have. The next option is Hover Type, and in this case I don't think I want one. Auto Play as well I will leave on the No setting. The next option is the Maximum Columns, and I think I will reduce this to 4. Again, this gives the images a chance to be a bit bigger. I'll also adjust the column spacing to match the default container padding on the 100% width template, so I will change that to 30 pixels. The next option, called Scroll Items, is how many images the carousel will scroll when using the navigation. I think I'll set this to 2, so it just scrolls 2 images at a time. I'll leave the navigation set to Yes, as I left Auto Scroll off, and I'm going to turn this border off as well. I definitely want Image Lightbox turned on though, so I will do that here. OK, that's pretty much configured how I want it. If I just go into the Children tab and edit an item, we can see we also have a link option. Here you can add the URL the image should link to. If the Lightbox option is enabled, you can also use this to open a different image in the Lightbox. There is also a Link Target option and an Image Alt text field. All the images I added to the carousel have the same size and aspect ratio, which means they're all the same size on the carousel and in the lightbox. But if I add another image here that has a different aspect ratio, I'll just clone the last image and edit it. And now I'll just navigate back to that image. We can see that because we have the auto setting selected in the general tab, the image displays in its native aspect ratio rather than a fixed ratio. So a little tip for image carousels is to ensure all the images are the same size. I'll just right click and delete that image from the carousel. If I wanted to I could also rearrange the order of these images here in the children tab by dragging the images around, but I'm happy with the order they have. Ok, let's save this page, and head to the front end. And scroll down to see our carousel. We can scroll through the images, and we can see they're scrolling two at a time, and if we click on them, they open in full size in the light box. The image carousel element is also used at the bottom of this page to show client logos. This is also a common way to use the element. OK, this concludes our video on how to use the image carousel element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket, and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.